ETC's Q system is a networked Q light system for use in TV, theater, and live events. No matter if it's a small one-off event or a long-running nightly production, Q system will transform the way you communicate with actors, presenters, and production staff. There are three hardware components to Q system: the Q spider, the playback controller, and the desk. The desk comes in four, eight, and twelve channel tabletop versions and 8 and 12 channel rack mount versions. These components are configured using the Q-System software. Q-Spider is a compact outstation for receiving standby and go commands from the stage manager or show caller. Q-Spiders connect using a standard power over ethernet switch so they can be used with your existing lighting network. Multiple Q-Spiders can be daisy chained together for larger systems. The multi-channel desk allows for direct single button operation of each Q system channel. There are red buttons for standby, yellow buttons for multiple channel presets, green buttons for go, and a master button at both ends. Q system controllers connect to outstations using the same network as the Q spiders. Pressing the red standby buttons on the desk causes standby lights to blink on both the desk and the Q spiders. Pressing the red button on the outstation causes lights at both devices to change from blinking to on, indicating that performer or operator is ready to receive a go command. To trigger more than one outstation in a single queue, select multiple channels using the yellow preset buttons. This commands all preset outstations to go with one press of the master go button. In addition to outstations and controllers, Q-System also features free downloadable PC software that handles system setup and advanced programming. The first thing you will want to do with your Q-Lights is patch which controller channel talks to which Q-Spider outstation. The device discovery utility goes out over the network and looks for all Q-System devices. You can use this screen if you want to change from the default network settings. On the main patch screen, you can see your controllers, or desks, on the left, and your Q-Spider outstations on the right. Point and click to assign each outstation to a desk channel, then press the Update Controller button to send the new patch out to the network. The PC app can also be used to pre-program and playback Q-Lite sequences, similar to cues on a lighting console. This feature is particularly useful for long-running or complex shows involving frequent cues. The program function lets you record cue light sequences into a show file. Select where on the list you want to insert the cue, choose whether you want to insert before or after the current cue, and enter the cue's name. Now you can program what goes into the cue. Select your cue lights by pressing the red or green buttons on the screen, or by pressing the buttons on the connected desk. Press the Record Desk Changes button to save the information. Once all of the cues are programmed, you can play back the show in the live screen. This screen provides go and back buttons, which will play back previously recorded cues on the connected hardware. If you prefer to run your show from a dedicated hardware interface, you can use the optional cue system playback unit instead of a PC. The playback unit is available in a rack mount or desktop configuration to fit any workstation. In addition to recording and playing back cues, the Q system software also lets you monitor Q spider outstations on the network using the overview screen. This feature lets you import an image, like this ground plan, and drag each outstation into place to create a customized system layout. As Q system channels are activated, the corresponding boxes flash on the overview screen, showing you at a glance how your Q spiders are responding. No matter the scale of your production, you can rely on Q system to keep everything running seamlessly. With advanced features never before seen in a dedicated Q light system, we're sure you'll love what Q system can do for you. For more information, go to etcconnect.com.